Easter and the resurrection is the very foundation of our faith. Do you ever think about that? It's confusing sometimes to think about what is truly the faith, the foundation of the Christian faith. The foundation of the faith is not Christians. The foundation of our faith is not the behavior of Christians. The foundation of our faith is not answered prayer. The foundation of our faith is not the elimination of doubt. The foundation of our faith is not to have all of our questions answered. The foundation of our faith is not a denomination's particular doctrine. The foundation of our faith, it's not even the Bible. You understand there were practicing Christians for 300 years before there was the first page of a Bible. Their foundation was the resurrection. The memory that they had of a Jewish carpenter who went public for a mere three years, who never traveled more than 30 miles from home, who never wrote a book, who never had an Instagram account, who never knew what Twitter was. How in the world did the earliest Christians survive is that thing we call the church? How did they endure persecution from zealots and Pharisees and Romans? How did they survive and keep a faith going when it was illegal and it would cost them their lives? You think about this intellectually. Today, there is no more Roman Empire. But yet there are billions of them. Billions of people like you and people like me that will gather today to worship their Savior and to call upon their Savior to give them resurrection, to lift up their life, to give them new life, to empower them not just to have a reputation for being alive, but to truly be alive and to exhibit the promises of our gospel. How in the world did this happen? The resurrection, the people rallied around an unprecedented hope born from the eyewitnessing of a Jewish carpenter resurrected. Come back to life. On Friday, they were cowards. On Sunday, they were ready to take on Nero. Nero. 